Here we are in Alderet, and I'm just about to enter Pastor Whitecliffe's house, parish, and school, all in the one compound. Directly ahead is his church, and there's our car. In there they're doing a presentation, or we are doing a presentation of Divine Truth. And then if we scan over here, this is a school that his church has started up and is funding for all the underprivileged and orphaned children that can't afford to go to school. All the teachers here are volunteers and it's just fantastic what they're doing here. Right over the back there is his home. Just a simple little house made of mud. Nice little lounge room at one end and I think there's a couple of bedrooms at the other end or there might be just one. Pastor Wycliffe has a wife, Evelyn, and four children. He also cares for two children that um, have come from single parent homes that can't support them and look after them. So he's feeding them, educating them, loving them. There's our car there. So grateful for this gift. It's just made our journey much easier just to be able to hop in the car and go with where we want. And we'll just try to keep this as steady as I can. Walking here, you can probably hear Jesus talking. And so we can have a facade of longing for God, and all we're going to attract in a facade is spirits who, in, who interpret or what's the word for imitate, who imitate God, or attempt to at least imitate God. It is not going to be God herself, because while we're in our facade, we can only attract the facade. Yeah. In other words, yeah. while I'm trying to practice a facade myself, I am only going to attract a God 